Hello again, and I'm happy to he be here with you again. My name is Carlos, and my my friend uh, and co-host uh, Marius. Hello, hello. And today uh, we have a bit of um, interesting topic uh, that can be as a tool for you if you will embrace it and make some proper notes out of this podcast. And it's called uh, Fourth Perspective. So what is what is about all this perspective thing and what I want to what I want to deliver for you uh, in this four, fourth perspective level? So where, where the perspective comes from? So it's from our ability to understand and perceive certain information, signs, body language, um, events, and whatever whatever is coming from outer world and triggers our inner world. So there are four levels of uh, of the perspective uh, how I classify it. And the first uh, level of perspective it is my personal level. So let's say we take three people uh, in the room and me and Marius, we are having a conversation. So I'm having a first perspective. He's the second perspective perspective. Uh, someone who is listening to us, like example, you, uh, you are the third perspective and the fourth perspective is non-duality. So it's imagine it's a spiritual being who has no human uh, pre cultural programming. It ha doesn't have condi conditioned mind. It has pure, uh, pure consciousness and it's clean. It doesn't have any dogmatic beliefs. So let's get let's get straight to the first perspective what is wrong with it and what is good with it so and how to really look at it so basically um the first perspective is really individual uh, experience of life so when you participate in some sort of a conversation negotiation or what, whatever is in front of you you have your inner voice, you have your inner beliefs, you have your inner goods or bad, you have your own wrongs and rights, you, you have your own deal breakers, yeah? So all this, all this starts in the first perspective. Uh, this perspective is very natural to us because uh, mostly, you know, it's, uh, it's our daily routine, how we, how we perform in life, how we see things, events, people. Uh, but there is something wrong with it because... Um, it comes from a cultural programming and trauma. And uh, by saying wrong, uh, I mean that if it's not self-aware, the, the owner of a first perspective is not self-aware, he's limited to certain beliefs that drives him. That's where, that's where we need to uh, understand the second perspective. So compassion towards, uh, let's say today towards Marius. So if we have a if we have a, a discussion about one topic and his opinion is different or he is getting emotional about that, uh, or what I can do? So from my perspective, I can judge, I can evaluate, and so on. By looking into second perspective, what I'm doing, I'm trying to develop a compassion towards his side, and I'm trying to build awareness about why why this person could be so vigilant about this discussion why it's so triggering him why it makes him feel a certain way so i'm becoming from a first perspective i'm tapping into second perspective by trying to understand understand that this this, per, this person's position on why he thinks that way or why he responds that way now uh, with second perspective um same same thing there are there are one part is wrong there are one part is right so uh wrong part is that if you will go into judgment from your own perspective you can you can easily uh go wrong ways because it's it's easy to think that you understand the person's story and what is the beliefs behind his words and behind his opinion uh, but it's also very easy to miss the point and it can be totally opposite of, of, of what's really happening with that person. So the right part is that you're already building a compassion. You're already building a listening skill 
where you're trying to understand what, what is the reason for this miscommunication or what is the reason for this emotional conversation. So to in order to smooth both, uh, both perspectives, we stepping into the third perspective, which is the listener, someone who is who has no personal intentions towards me or towards the second person. And you trying to look at the situation here as a third person. So the third perspective, first perspective is moving into the stage of third perspective where you observe the situation from a side and you are doing a critical judgment on uh, why first perspective and second perspective is not matching. Now, the third perspective, uh, the problem with that is that uh, this perspective is uh, a little bit ignorant because uh, you are creating that perspective in your mind. So basically, you are imagining somebody from a side who is judging both sides equally. Yeah. Yeah. So in both ways, you see something right and something wrong. And again, you see certain traumas on one side, certain traumas on another, another side. Best position to be in is the fourth perspective, but it's one of the uh, one of the hardest I could say to be in because uh, our nature is to really judge and evaluate things. It's really simple, simple structure of a hierarchy in in a human being life. And fourth perspective, like I already mentioned, it's uh, a state of a spiritual being with has no cultural programming, no conditioned mind, it's a pure awareness. So what is what is the state? I believe that uh, it, it has three steps in that state. So like three layers. So first one is full acceptance. The second one is full forgiveness. And the third one is a full gratitude. So now imagine you're looking into a situation and you're judging. Is that it, it shouldn't be that way, it should be that way, and and all these bits and bobs, yeah. What you yep. what you're doing, you're basically not accepting the situation. You're not accepting the situation as it is right now, and you immediately trying to change it without really getting into uh, the understanding why it happened. And uh, when you get into understanding why it happens, you don't release that. So, uh, what, what my point is here is that uh, all these three steps where I mentioned, all these three levels of acceptance, forgiveness, and gratitude, is really the main traits what you should develop in yourself in order to achieve that fourth perspective. Because if you can remove yourself from first, second, and the third perspectives and get into the fourth perspective, you're going to see the flow. Because that, that's where flow comes in. Otherwise, the chatter in the scalp with the first perspective uh, gonna be only on a personal level, on what you are capable to uh, upload into conversation right here, right now. The second perspective is good for uh, trying to understand uh, your, 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 your person in front of you, uh, but it also delivers the judgment. And the third perspective is a good side look to the situation to evaluate what's, what was done or said wrong by you or another person, but it also is limited. It's limited to judgment. Again, to the personal judgment. That's why I'm practicing the fourth perspective and uh, I encourage everyone with who I communicate with, who I go into these conversations, to go into the fourth perspective. Because if you, if you are consciously aware about accepting things as they are and on the go, it's not, the growth, the change is a natural process. You, you don't need to force it. You don't need to, uh, you don't need to be angry uh, because of it's not happening at a certain time. So this problem, what you have with somebody where you, if you are, let's say, with your wife, you're having a, some sort of beef in family, you know, you, you are judging it based on your own experience. And with that, is perf everything is perfectly fine. 
but you're living in, 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 in sort of insecurities, in some sort of a trauma, in some sort of cultural programming that is preconditioning your, uh, your perspective about the world. So, yeah, that's a short one about four perspectives. And I'm passing the microphone for Marius. If he can add anything, um, any questions, any questions to me or any, anything on top. Uh, I actually have, uh, you reminded me of one thing what, which I've learned in seminars and it really struck me when it was explained in such a simple words. I think it's very similar to this uh, four perspectives. You can tell me after I'm going to explain this way. So basically the first one is like uh, victim's mentality when life happens to me and there's nothing I can do about it. It's like reacting to whatever happens and just... Uh, reacting to the outside as on a way like life gets in the way of of me living a perfect life <laughs> yeah then yeah, okay then the second perspective would be when i understand that everything what happens is my choice basically taking responsibility like if i don't know i get penalty i understand that like that's my mistake it wasn't like uh, this parking guy went to buy my car and he shouldn't go buy my car and like why did he do that so it's uh taking responsibility and it's called buy me the third third way to see life is through me when uh, i let life happen as it's happening without uh, trying to attach myself to different labels and different uh, ways of living. I just let it happen and this growth happens naturally because uh, it's actually not like, yes, growth happens naturally and at the same time, like expansion and uh, the only thing which is uh, always here is the change. Like there's no moment in life where you can stay stagnant and nothing happens you either go forward or you go back and it's uh, and it's never any different like if i'm doing nothing i'm regressing if i'm doing something useful according to my values i'm expanding that's how i see it and uh, because of the change and being able to live through me, letting life happen through me. When I need, I can be devil to someone. And when I need, I can be a God to someone just because I let life act as I am. Magical stuff happens. And the fourth perspective is uh, to see everything as me. So I see a bed, I see laptop, I see curtains, I see people, and I understand that that's part of me. And when I see world as part of me, there's uh, impossible to do something uh, what would be considered bad. Because like there's not, you, you're not gonna go cut yourself. Like yes, there's always exceptions to the rules, but that's very unlikely that you know, just having a good day, I just go decide to cut my wrist for fun. So uh, seeing everything like light, like what I mentioned before, as me, I will treat it with more respect and uh, being grateful, being uh, kind of taking care of small things. It doesn't have to be a expensive car or expensive phone, expensive watch, which I'll be looking after. If I have a toothbrush, my hairbrush, uh, everything will be treated with respect and with uh, value because I understand that's part of me. So when I heard this way of saying it, I think it's very similar to this uh, fourth, fourth perspective, what, you, what you've been explaining. It's in, in simple words. In simple, vo simple words is basically non-duality. It's the law of one, and um, you seeing the mirror. Um, so, so yeah, you, the way you explained was was different, but uh, it's the same coin. Parallel. Yeah. Uh, one thing which I want to add on top as well. It's about the amount of energy which. Uh 
is required to achieve results. So basically living in men as a to me mentality, like victim mentality, it takes uh, 10 hours of work to achieve the same result. What can be done, which is by me mode. When I take all responsibility for whatever good happens and for whatever bad happens, I take full responsibility that's on me. So basically if uh, a person is in victim mentality and he and someone is in by me mentality. So someone in a by me mentality does a work for one hour and the victim mentality has to work for 10 hours to achieve the same result. And with every level is like 10 times more. That's why uh, these uh, spiritual leaders or real like uh, big businessmen like uh, John Rockefeller they became so the energy became so strong that they didn't need to move much they done perfect steps in a given moment that those steps last for hundreds of years so that's how i see it that's a great that's a great point to add that's and a great it's, point to add and uh, that's actually something what I was thinking about today, that uh, people who are able to stay in a moment, be present without the weight of the past of like, oh, I have kids, oh, I have uh, rent, I have bills, and uh, without expectations for the future, they kind of move different and they talk different. It feels like they cutting through through time and air like when i listen to osho i'm like this guy is like some you, you cut it feels like he's an like untouchable because for someone to you know he says a sentence and someone should could write a book about the sentence he said and that book wouldn't make such an impression that what he's doing in like in in a one sentence in a way it's said and it feels like you know okay how can i uh, l like work on myself in that way that you know you i don't know you close the door and it's so perfect like <laughs> birds start singing because you close the door and i mean uh, not in such a simple but i know when when you're talking with a person and you can say one sentence and you can see that the light is like the bulb is on in their head and it's like it's amazing so I did experience that before, want more of these moments because that's like what uh, gives a spark in, in my chest. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, glad to hear, I'm glad to hear that you are on the same page. I am, it's like, some, we, we're, we're both on it, like you're just my reflection. There is no way of being in a, in a, on a different page. <laughs> You can you can be in different page. The book is the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the book right. Is the That's same, right. you know. And the book is the same, just diff different. This different perspective, of, the different perspectives about different stories. Yes, and all of them are perfect in in their own way. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's I believe where we leave this conversation today. Uh, we will not make it very long and i believe we uh, we delivered uh, a message uh, for our listeners um we're looking for your feedback we're looking for your questions and we're looking forward uh, to getting getting more uh, more challenges from you more topics uh, from you that uh, would be in your interest yeah any comments uh, why we're good why we're bad everything's welcome Let's communicate. Okay, have a nice evening and see you next time.